this one object neatly sums up the potential for this collection. Um, we are so used to hearing this kind of uh, knowing the world in a hundred objects. Well, you don't need a hundred objects. Sometimes you can know the world in many different ways with just a single object. And so I think this object uh, sums it up for me. Um, it is a black top pottery vessel um, and it was first excavated in 1894 to 1895. Um, and when it was first found, the excavator, the excavating team, didn't really know what to make of it. They didn't know how to date it. Um, but over time, it became clear that this was a prehistoric pottery vessel. And it was one of these vessels that Flinders Petrie used to create um, the first sequence dating for prehistoric Egypt. Um, so this object can tell us about prehistoric Egypt. It's 5,000 years old. Um, it can also tell us about Victorian Britain and Victorian ways of knowing because Flinders Petrie based his method on cultural evolutionism. So it was very much entrenched in ways of thinking in the late 19th century. But that's not the only story that this object can tell. If we turn it onto its base, we find all sorts of other clues. It has this number written on it, 1817. Um, and that's a reference to the grave in which this tomb was excavated. And that number extends this object into our archive collections. This, um, these are the original notes. And they're referred to rather heroically as the Petrie notebook. But if you take that away, and you look at the notebook, you find another name, Price. That's Henry Price, um, or Hugh Price, I should say. Um, he's one of these cast of characters who also joins Flinders Petrie on excavation, but isn't in the history books. Um, but he's the one that made these notes. And then you, when you go into, into this, we have drawings of the various tombs, and that includes tomb 1817. But with each of these drawings, we find not Flinders Petrie's name, but someone else's name. I can't find 1817 at the moment, but if we found that particular grave, we'd see that the name above it was Ali Redwan. And Ali Redwan was the Egyptian excavator. And so this pot can also tell us stories about the Egyptian workforce and the Egyptian specialists who through their care and their skill, were able to retrieve and make sure this object is here today. When we look at the tomb from which this comes from, there are many more pottery vessels just like this, but this is only one of two we have in this collection, so where are the other vessels? This number allows us to connect this object to its dispersed history. Objects from this tomb are now found in Germany, America, and at least five other museums um, around the UK. So this object, not only from Egypt, um, not only now in London, also has uh, a story in other countries as well. Um, and it's one of the challenges to bring that material back together again.